Well, Candace, the mayor is calling this a stalemate, blaming it on the school board's unwillingness to compromise on the size of a new George with High School. But one board member I spoke to says delays now lie in the hands of city council. George means the most to me is in the heart of Southside. The heart of Southside, as Christopher Woody calls it, remains at the center of a stalemate between Richmond's elected leaders. Let's take politics out of it. Woody, an 03 graduate of George Wythe High School, says his alma mater desperately needs a makeover. Nothing changed. I've been in there quite a few times. Nothing changed and Wythe is still the same. But plans to build a new Wythe not making any progress. The latest setback on a long list of many. City Council failed to pass a measure Monday night that would transfer more than $7 million to the school board. It's really just a matter of moving it from one bucket into another. The school board's vice chair, Kenya Gibson, says the board has been asking for that money, which is allocated to school construction for several months so they can get started on designing a new width. But a majority of council members have said they're not confident in the board's plans to build a width for 1,600 students rather than 2,000 students, citing a growing population on the south side. The delay is, on, is in the hands of city council. They're the ones who have held up this um, you know, this transfer of funds. Then, so the question is why? Gibson claims the board can save taxpayer dollars by building a smaller width and using those funds to repair other city schools such as Woodville Elementary. She alleges the city's continued delay of transferring the funds is greedy and not supportive of democratically governed schools. That's extremist talk. That's extremist talk. Mayor LeVar Stoney denounces Gibson's statements, saying... Ain't got time for it. Is it extremist on the school board's part? No. The mayor trusts that council is fulfilling its responsibility to taxpayers by not handing over the money until the board provides more evidence to support their claims. Now, moving forward, it's my hope that the adults who sit on the school board are willing to get around the table and actually talk about a real compromise. I asked the mayor, will council continue to delay transferring the money until the school board meets its compromise of a width that fits 1,800 students? I'm optimistic that the dollars will one day land in the account so we can get this process going. And just moments ago, a reimagined George with High School just wrapped up here where students and parents got to weigh in on the new curriculum of their new school. Many of them saying they want more arts classes like music and dance. Maggie Marshall was also here. She'll have a report for you coming up tonight at 11.